Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And I've seen people ask on forums and stuff uh, pretty frequently, you know, what's the best way to chop up uh, an instrumental or a vocal or something um, to either make like a hip hop beat or to use vocal chops in an electronic dance song. And so I thought I'd share the way I go about doing it. Uh, it's really quick, it's really simple, and I've gotten some pretty good results uh, from doing it. And I think, you know, it really helps inspire me uh, because, you know, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to just know how to chop up a vocal and have it sound good. And, you know, this just leads to inspiration. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you a few examples of, you know, how I've used this. And the first is a vocal I chopped up for my song Herbalist. And I'll just play that for you real quick. So I think that that turned out uh, pretty well, and I'll just show you one more example, and this is in my uh, Lithium remix. This is a really old song, but I like how I chopped up um, the instrumental towards the end of it, and I'll just let you hear that quickly. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, just a couple examples, and um, now I'll just get right into showing you how I do it. So in my playlist, I have the um, acapella from the remix stems of a song by Cruella, uh, and this is just the vocal for We Are One. And let's say I was wanting to do a remix of it, and I wanted to kind of chop up the vocals and use that in some way in my remix. So the way I do this is, you know, really pretty straightforward. It's really fast. It's really simple. Um, basically, what I do is I add a fruity slicer to my, um, you know, channels here, and um, I could just drag the whole acapella into it, but uh, this little section here on the original acapella kind of wastes some of the slices. because that is a vocal chop right there. Um, so sometimes I'll throw the whole you know, instrumental or the whole vocal file in, but other times um, you might need to just select a section that you want to chop up. So I'm going to select this section here because it's kind of like the chorus. Um, you know, it plays a few times throughout, and yeah. We are one like the sky is to the stars. We are one, take my breath and I am yours. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, kind of isolate that section, um, just using the slice tool in the playlist. And then I'm going to click up here on this little icon and select the option make unique as sample. And this will make a new sample that I can just put into the fruity slicer. So I have that sample right here and I'm going to just drag it. Uh, just drag it into the fruity slicer, and you can see it makes some slices already. And that's why I like to use this method so much. You know, just um, as soon as you drag something in, it has some slices uh, ready for you to play around with. And um, so from there, I can play around with it on the keyboard and see if I like how it has sliced it up. So, um, you know, I could just play around with that, uh, see if I can, you know, get anything that sounds really cool to me. And, you 
And um, you know, it, it's really nice if you have a full keyboard because um, a lot of the times, you know, the slices will go, you know, all the way from C0 up to, uh, you know, the, the very top of the piano roll. Um, and you can just play around with the whole spectrum. Uh, but in this example, it didn't do that. Um, and if you don't like how it has chopped it up, uh, you can adjust these two knobs here. Um, yeah, this one's kind of the low threshold and this one's the high threshold. And it will just chop it up differently depending on how you have it set. Um, so if you want finer uh, slices, you can you know, um, adjust those to get more. Uh, or if you want less fine, you can adjust them to get less. And uh, if you want to keep playing the slices after... Yeah, you because know, you can hear right now, if I play a key, yeah, it just plays the slice. Uh, but if you want to play you know, further than just that slice, uh, you can just select uh, to play it to the end, and that will play it as long as you hold the key. So um, you know, it can be fun to play with that on, it can be fun to play with it off. Uh, it'll just give you different options. And so when you've done this, you could you know, just go from here, use this, uh, and basically have this in your final track and have the slices played in the piano roll. Or you could just use it as inspiration. Um, you, know, you could get a rough idea of what you're wanting to do. Um, you know, just uh, use it for inspiration and then you can kind of go into the actual sample and find where those slices are at and then, uh, you know, be a little bit more refined uh, that way. But a lot of the times I just use it uh, straight from here. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you don't really know how to chop up samples, vocal files, instrumentals, and you're kind of interested in doing that, uh, either for remix or because you make hip hop beats, and you want to do some sampling, then you know this is a great way, a very quick way to just you know you throw your audio file in there. Um, you can play around with the slices. You can play around with uh, how it slices it up, and you know just uh, play around on your keyboard. Um, you you could also just uh, kind of press things in uh, this little window here if you wanted to. Uh, it, it's nicer if you have a keyboard though. But yeah, it's just a really easy way to get inspired and kind of come up with some cool sliced melodies or whatever. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that will help a lot of you get into chopping up stuff and uh, you know get inspired to make some cool stuff. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.